Hello everyone, it's Dragon Platinum here, and today we are back again with Plane Crazy. Now it's been a little while, uh, SCP-3008 week did take up, like I said, the entire week, and it was a lot of fun doing that, however it is nice to kinda hop back into some other games, and especially Plane Crazy because there's a lot of ideas I've been thinking of, and new things that I want to build, so... I'm pretty excited. Uh, before the video begins though, I do want to say that I do apologize if my voice sounds a little bit rough, or if I sound a little bit sniffly. Uh, I've been sick and that's why there wasn't really much of an upload the other day, I haven't had a whole bunch of energy, but uh, we're going to try to push through, we're going to power through, and we're going to make ourselves a space station. But really quickly, just before the video begins guys, if you haven't already, go down below, hit that subscribe button, it really helps out the channel. We're getting close to 29,000 subscribers, and hey, that's pretty cool. So I'm going to start out with something super simple. We're just going to make a long tube and then start adding like different special things and gadgets and gizmos and like solar panels and all that kind of fun stuff on afterwards. But yeah, we got to work on the basic shape first because that's always important. All right, so we got the basic shape down here. It's it's a little bit big. It's a little bit big. But that's okay because we're going to make it a little bit longer because I think we're going to need some more space to actually attach things and like leave room for solar panels because solar panels are insanely huge and at the moment I don't exactly know how I'm gonna build them and I want them to be able like to rotate and turn and stuff like they do in real life but I think that's gonna be that's gonna require a lot of work with motors and stuff so I'm a little bit worried about that but uh, if we give ourselves more room to work with then it might not be as big of a problem here so Let's just extend this out just a little bit bigger, and I think that'll be good. And let's cut a hole right in the side like this, and we're gonna we're gonna patch this up. Don't worry, we do not want our astronauts flying outside of this thing. But uh, let's just make a nice little cutout right here, and this is going to be leading to the area where I'll actually have uh, the place where people can dock their spaceships. So this is going to be the entrance to the space station like I said earlier. Um, how exactly it's going to work, I don't know just yet. I know I want it to be like a hatch that swings open and then will swing closed once like people are inside, but I'm not too sure on how I'm going to set that up. I gotta figure that out. And I also want to add in some windows and stuff as well as we need to add on the solar panels. And I've just been really wanting to build a solar panel for some reason. So that's gonna what I'm going to work on next, actually, here. And I believe if we can attach, like, two and two, and then two and two, it'll look pretty good. I don't want to do any folding because, personally, I just... <laughs> folding is kind of a pain. But uh, we're just going to see how big we can actually make this stuff without any folding or anything like that involved. And actually one thing I should mention is that a nice thing about space stations is they usually tend to actually be in space, so I'm not too worried about actually getting this thing into the air because I'm just going to be throwing on zero gravity, so powering it really should not be a problem whatsoever, and like that combined with anchor blocks will always keep this thing in the air and make it super easy for people to actually dock their spaceships onto it, no problem, should look pretty cool, and uh, it'll be one less set, uh, one less headache for me to actually worry about. All right, so I've just finished adding sort of like a viewing room slash control area where I'm going to be able to actually control my spaceship from. Now that's good. That's what I wanted to do. Now the next thing we're going to try to do is actually try adding on one of the solar panels. Uh, not too sure how big I need to make them. All I know is that they need to rotate. They're pretty, like, flat, and actually I probably could use uh, wing panels for them, now that I think about it. That might be the best way to go about it. Alright, let's try this out. Uh, new type of adjusting solar panel. Looks a little bit better because it's much bigger. However, I feel like I'm still missing something. I know that there's another thing that solar panels do. I think it's like they, like, squish up, if that makes sense. Like, a, like, a, like they just fold up, and then they can, like, fold out. And although it's kind of useless because, like, they should be folded out all the time, I wonder if I could build, like, some sort of system that would fold them back in a little bit. But I'm not exactly sure what that would have to be. Alright, and then let's try this out. So, obviously, we can still turn no problem. Uh, let's try folding it in. 
two separate ways, I know, but we can fix that. Uh, hold on, okay. So that is kind of the idea I was looking for. I just need to fix the directions and I need to add on another part to it so I can make sure that it actually folds in together and doesn't break. Because if it breaks, then we're going to have even more issues. Alright, let's do another quick test here. So we've got it stationary. I just changed up the angles a little bit. So if we fold in, it should come. Ignore the body that's currently caught in them right now. As you can see, it does kind of fold up a little bit here. Now, uh, we need to add in another motor, and I need to see... Like, because I think that looks good. I do think that looks good, but maybe I need to also add them down here. And... I don't know. Maybe I do need to add them down there, and then I need to make the angle less steep and just add motors on. I'm really not sure. This is a lot harder than I thought it would be, to be completely honest. I'm not... I'm no expert in trying to make solar panels, that's for sure. Okay, let's just stick with the much simpler design, and uh, hopefully this will be good enough. It, it, it does look fine, I just wanted to add that extra difficulty, but it did not work out very well, so we'll just stick with the nice and flat sort of design, and then just add a bunch to our actual space station. Alright, so I've been building for quite a while, I've got more solar panels on, um, I've got a sort of like control room area being worked on. I'm not exactly sure what it is just yet. Uh, over here, obviously, we have our viewing area. And then back here, I haven't really decided on anything just yet. Still need to add in the actual door to get in here. But really quickly, I just want to see if this thing actually works properly. So let's just go and make our gravity zero. And uh, let's just ascend into the sky a little bit. Okay, so as you can tell, we're a little bit, a uh, little bit lopsided, a little bit lopsided, gotta fix that, but we do kind of go up slowly. <laughs> I'm gonna need to fix this. Uh, let's just flip it really quick. There we go. And let's try moving the solar panels. Very cool. Yeah. We just need to kind of figure out how to make it work properly and like float easier, but I think I'm onto something. I must say, the more solar panels that I actually add onto this thing, the more interesting it's actually really starting to look here, and I'm just really like, like, at first I was kind of, I was kind of skeptical that I could really pull this off, but just as the solar panels start to get added on, I start to get a lot more interested in it, and I also have begun to realize a small issue. I don't know how people are going to actually dock onto this if there is solar panels in the way. Gotta figure that one out. I might actually have to make the entrance over here instead of being right here. But we, we, we got some time to still figure stuff out, but that is a big issue. I mean, I guess you could dock like that. That's a <laughs> that's a pretty solid docking, I think. Okay, I've got a bit of an idea here. Um, and this is mostly because of all the folding that I did in the past that I think I might be able to do this one. Like I said, every single time I make a video, I learn a little bit. And I think I'm going to be able to use, like, my folding sort of knowledge to pull off a door here. Although it's going to be a little bit strange, but I think I can actually do this. Hopefully. <laughs> it's going to be kind of difficult. Okay, let's try the new door system. Hopefully this works. That closes no problems. That is perfect. Exactly what I was looking for. And then it also can be folded out to allow people to dock in a little bit easier. That, oh my god, that, that, I thought that was going to be a lot harder than it actually was. That wasn't too bad. Thank goodness, I was so worried about that thing, but there we go. Okay, now we actually have a place for people to enter, so, perfect. Okay, I'm doing another test of the space station here. Um, the propellers are having a little bit of difficulty actually getting me up into the air, which is kind of funny considering I am on zero gravity right now. So that is kind of rough, but as you can see, everything is working. Uh, we can show off the panels here really quick. Boom. That works awesome, although we start to spin a little bit. I'm sure that's because they're wing panels, but still, it's kind of cool. Uh, we can turn them the other way. That works just fine. Actually, that's really good for turning. Unintended, but we can turn now. So that's kind of cool. Uh, and if we just uh, put them back into normal position there, I probably should have closed the hatch. This closes no problem. And we can also walk around the space station 
without any issues. Now I still need to fill out this area and actually build in this module, but we're getting there and honestly, it's looking much better than I thought it would. Also, it looks like we have a huge viewer today. Like, this is probably the biggest couch I've seen so far. Usually people will pull up, like, small couches to come watch me build. This time we got a large couch, so that's pretty cool. Okay, we're getting some painting done. I just wanted to show this, because it, it kind of looks really cool, the fact that this is a spaceship. And we just got people kind of floating around lifelessly. In... <laughs> well, not lifelessly, but, you know, they're floating around. Uh, I mean, they might be dead. I haven't... haven't exactly checked. Now the only question I have is, why is there arms in the wall? I don't know, but uh, we're able to float around. It feels pretty cool to actually be able to float around in this thing. And for the most part, it doesn't affect... Like, I can jump, still can easily come back to the ground. Oh, that's a dead body. Um, okay, not did not expect that on my spacecraft. Alright, so I've added a few lights to the spacecraft. Um, no particular reason for adding them, I think it just kind of looks cool at night. Uh, also, we've got a few people trapped at the observatory, which looks really, really weird. But uh, let's see if we can just flip here, hopefully this doesn't... Ah, oh, they're fine. They're, they're okay, we just kind of... <laughs> we just kind of threw them out into the vacuum of space, they'll be fine. Uh, yeah, okay. So let's just open this back up in case anybody wants back in. Let's anchor ourselves here. Okay, good. Uh, adjust the solar panels, and let's go explore. I think it looks really cool, especially with like the lights and stuff. Kind of gives it a little bit more life. Uh, obviously, there's a, a whole bunch more detail I could throw into this thing to make it look so much more cooler on the interior. Uh, I don't have that kind of time, and my head is starting to kind of hurt a little bit here. So maybe I'll do that in the future. I'll like try to spruce this thing up a little bit more. But I do think it's a really cool build, and I gotta thank you guys for the idea. A lot of people were pushing me to try to make a space station. And I gotta say, it's ex it's pretty difficult, especially if you want to make like a highly detailed one. Uh, big respects to all the people who do like big space station-y stuff because it looks really cool. But yeah, this is my space station and uh, I think it turned out all right. But anyways guys, that's really all I've got for this video. I'd like to apologize if my energy levels seem just completely shot. Like I said, I am not feeling the greatest. Hopefully I get better soon. We can hop back into the content full force and uh, get back to normal. But yeah, I hope you guys like my very simplistic uh, space station here. I think it turned out pretty cool. I'd love to see like maybe like something actually dock onto this thing in the future or something like that. Maybe I'd try again, make something a lot more intricate. But overall, I think it turned out pretty cool, and I'm happy with it. Other than that, guys, that's really all I've got for this video. So hey, if you guys like this video, feel free to go to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, guys, it's Dragon Platinum, signing out. Peace out, guys. Bye!